Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm actually, I believe, going to put together some Bible verses as soon as I get a chance. Whether I get a chance today or not, I don't know. I'm having to work full time now, but um, I will try as soon as I can. I feel like the Lord is telling me to speak to personal fleshy offense um, and to warn how dangerous it is. And I can do that right now. I have seen um, on the years that I've been on YouTube and, and even in real life, I'm sure you guys can relate to this. <laughs> of course, you know, just in your regular lives with people in your lives, not just people on YouTube. But what happens when somebody gets offended at something, when something makes them angry, when it rubs them the wrong way, okay? And if it's not an offense that's based on truth, if it's... If it's an offense based on something that you think was being said that wasn't actually being said, um, if the thing that offended you was truth, um, the problem is with you. And so either you're actually offended because you misunderstood, there's a misunderstanding, or some truth offended you because you're not ready to accept it yet or you've got issues you know that the Lord the Lord's still working on all of us in our own life we can all get offended okay I get offended sometimes it's it's a natural thing that we struggle with you know we have this treasure in jars of clay we have this flesh we still have our car carnal nature to contend with and I just want to warn people because I have seen this pattern over and over and over and over again where someone takes personal offense, um, not based, it's either always that they can't accept a biblical truth that is very clearly true and they get offended, um, or they hear something that's not actually being said. I know personally early on in my marriage with my husband, I would read things into what he was saying and completely get off, you know, and get angry when I shouldn't have been angry. And that happens too, you know, it's just one of those things. But be careful that you seek the Lord and be sure that you don't let, first of all, be sure that you're, if, you, if it's your offense, maybe instead of getting angry and opposing that person, maybe you need to let the Lord, you know, check your heart you know or it's like mrs mustard seed says <laughs> kiara you know get to check up from the neck up um and see what he's working out in you like lord why am i offended ask why am i offended is this true is it in your word um and if so why does it offend me and ask him to help you with that and before you go on an all-out campaign, campaign to backbite and just slander and destroy someone and attack them, make sure that what you think they were saying, they were actually saying, if you don't attempt to reconcile with your brother or sister in Christ, uh, but just hard-headed, continue on in your offense, you're being very, very carnal. You know, you are definitely walking in your flesh at that point. And it's one thing if somebody really is uh, teaching falsely. If they're teaching a false gospel, that, yeah, mark and avoid them. You know, that is, it's okay to get offended at that. Because that's an offense based on truth. You know, you're rejecting a lie. But it's another thing all together so when you when you're offended in your flesh and you're angry and you let that cause divisions that's nothing but carnality you know and and it does happen it's understandable there's grace for that but beware of the damage it can cause um, to the body of Christ and in your own personal family and relationships um, it, it's something that tears down. It does not build up. And if you think you have a ministry, but it's actually tearing down the body of Christ, it's not a ministry. By definition, that is not a ministry. 
Um, so I just want to put that out there. Um, I just, I see so many people offended putting out lies and then mirroring the videos of the other people putting out lies and then spreading like wildfire and that is just wicked. It's wicked, it's immature, it's carnal and some of these people should definitely know better. They really should. So, you know, let remember about loving the brethren. Um, if they're not teaching a false gospel, there's no reason to try to rip them to shreds over something just because you can't understand it yet. I put out a video. I'll link it below. It's about milk milk and meat or milk or meat it's all good okay sometimes there are people that are not ready to get deeper in the word and go for the meat yet they're just not ready i mean a baby cannot be fed meat and that's okay you know everything in its time but the problem is that some people you know some precious babes in christ and we're all learning we're all learning I mean, technically, we're all babes. We've got so much to learn. But there are some that are really, you know, just on the milk of the word. And they are, cannot, cannot digest the meat yet. And so, instead of just waiting, waiting on the Lord and taking the Lord, they go on an all-out, full-on attack against their brothers and sisters that are teaching the meat. And, you know, that's... That's a grievous, grievous thing. All right. I love you guys. Be blessed.